right now we're offering a 30% discount on anything in the restaurant once you have proof that you've donated blood. And we really did this in light of the recent uh, extreme deficit that the blood bank is facing. But as it's been very successful, we decided to offer this offer permanently because we want to continue the efforts. I've become a regular donor since a friend of mine needed blood. Um, and I went, I was due for donation around March. And when I went in, obviously it was you know, basically nobody there. Um, and as I was talking to the team, they were telling me that their donations have almost become non-existent because of it. At the time, um, we were looking for ways to give back to the community, um, and I thought this is the perfect way to do it. Around last year, mid last year or so, uh, someone close to me and the ownership team was facing a health emergency, and the call was sent out that to donate blood. Many of us were first time donors at that point, and we were quite daunted by the process. Once going there, we realized just how straightforward and easy it was uh, to do. Coincidentally, when we were at the blood bank, uh, while I was on a frantic phone call, uh, a young man who was in the waiting room overheard uh, my conversation and then offered to donate all of his receipts that he had <laughs> at that point. In July of last year, I went to give blood just voluntarily. And I gave and was sitting, resting with a friend of mine from my club, my Rotary club. And in comes in a group of people and everybody's frantic, the blood bag is about to close. Some of them were first time donors, they were unable to give because of you know underlying conditions or they didn't eat and whatever. So if they had left, it would have been too late to come back to give. So at that split second, um, you know, you're sitting, in a, you're sitting in an area and there's small talk. So I overheard a gentleman saying, you know, they need blood for the friend who needs the surgery, who is in the hospital. And I just had the idea, hey, let me just give him my receipts. So I said to my friend who was with, I was like, hey, why don't we just go back to the nurse, ask her to change the donation from being voluntary and credit it to the individual here who these people are here to give blood for. And what I did also was from my previous donation, because the blood bank is a, it's a bank and it's a storage, so I did some withdrawals as well from my, from my previous donation. So he was able to get four units of blood from two persons um, which you know I, I'm, I'm big on if you can help why not so that just that little split second and now I'm here an, an employee of Chilitos Jam Mexican so it's been it's been an interesting journey the response from the customers has been amazing they're all very supportive they're like great job um, how can we get involved we would like to see more people. We've only had a few so far, but as we go on and as more people get more information and as we actually include more of our community, um, one of the people who we did reach out to and who was absolutely gracious to help was Yanni Creed, who's a photographer for Coach Day and also a content creator. And we reached out to him, we asked him to do a video showing how safe and easy it is to give a donation, and he did. Um, and it was amazing. You can watch it on our social media. And I think once people see it, they'll get more involved. But for right now, everyone's really excited and everyone is hoping to help. Blood is said to have a shelf life of 35 days, but the demand is so high here in Jamaica. So we never make it to 35 days. So the blood doesn't go bad. Um, so it's very important. Lots of persons, not only because of COVID, but because of um, gunshot wounds, stabbing, somebody who's pregnant, who's about to give birth, who would lose blood, needs blood. So if you can, it's a very easy process, very professional, very smooth sailing. Um, if you do go, bear in mind the COVID precautions, wear your mask, have your hand sanitizers, as well as ensure that you eat a proper meal at least three hours before you go. Um, ensure that your weight is 110 or more and that if you are 17 years or older you can go without the permission of your parents if you are under 17 you just need a written permission from your parents to go and give uh, as i say it's a very simple process so just go for it and remember that one unit can save up to three lives